That's amazing. Wow! <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Gear Focus, an easy online platform to buy and sell used gear. More on them in just a sec. So today's my last day with the Sony ZV-1. Gotta return it back to Sony. I don't wanna give it back, it's so good, so good. So today we are going to do some uh, professional looking product photography with the ZB-1 because, well, I just want to. But first, babe, we're gonna have to like clear out all this because I can't work like this, okay? Okay, so the first thing that I think we're gonna do is just uh, think of the concept of the shoot that we're doing. I think I'm just gonna go on Instagram and Pinterest and look at some stuff just to be inspired, but I do, I do wanna do a, I do wanna do a, I do wanna do, <laughs> I said it again. I wanna shoot something with Nespresso cause I just, I, we love Nespresso here. So I'm looking at Nespresso's Instagram just to get inspired and kind of see what their style is like. Uh, ooh, this is pretty cool. It's like a clearish grayish background and there's lighting on both sides of the product. And uh, it's actually a really cool animated loop. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a loop, but I might attempt to do something like that. Ooh, this one's really cool. It's a little more dramatic. I think I might go for that. That's a really cool, that's a really cool photo. And what, oh, you're on Facebook. <laughs> I thought you were looking up, I thought you were looking up a concepts. Okay, so now that we have concepts nailed down, uh, we're gonna use these amazing backdrops from my good friends from Replica Surfaces. And uh, they're basically these backdrops that you can place either on the ground or on a table and you can also place them as a uh, as a wall so you can have a, a two-toned or two textured backdrop to place your products at and they got a whole bunch of different uh, backdrops this is light wood or something like that driftwood driftwood concrete marble got shiplap that's always cool we got more colorful ones like this one we got pink oh actually that's that's a really nice color. Ooh, this is, this is one of my favorites. This is a subway tile, looks freaking amazing. And then dark wood, which I think I will use. So the next thing that we're gonna do is set up our lights. I'm gonna go with the Aperture 120D Mark II. This is bad boy over here, and it's the light that's lighting me right now. Attached to this 120D Mark II is a softbox. It's called the Light Dome Mark II. Uh, it's pretty big, and I use it a lot for my YouTube videos, uh, but I'm gonna try something different. I haven't really used this before, but I'm gonna use a different type of softbox, and that is the uh, Aperture Lantern. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna give it a shot. Here we go. Whoa. There's a There's a little hook in the bottom of the lantern where you gotta clip the handle to, and so I think I just gotta push down on the lantern and uh, hopefully it'll grab here. Looks like a big onion. You also got uh, this skirt if you want to control the light a little more. Uh, obviously, because it's a bit more round, light might spill out in all directions, and so if you want to control more of the light, then uh, you can put this skirt around the lantern. That looks good. So the first photo that we're going to try to attempt is more of a lifestyle one. I think I'm going to go for like a Monday morning or start of the week with a cup of coffee, maybe like a book or a magazine. Whoa, that's that storytelling right there. So for the first shot, well, we're going to do a flat lay. And if you don't know what a flat lay is, it's basically uh, you are laying your products flat on the surface, a flat lay, and you're shooting from the top down. Uh, we're going to try to add some stuff. Uh, for our photo, we have this little tray table. We got a cool green plant already. The the colors are just complementing each other, and it's complementing, complementing each other, complementing, complementing each other. Let your body take control. Oh, it looks so good already. I can't read that without that cracking me up. I can just hear your voice in my head. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? So uh, just in case you were wondering, the reason why I turned off the kitchen lights and uh, I'm just using the, the Aperture 120D Mark II to light up the entire scene is because I don't want to mix up color temperatures. The lights from, uh, from the ceiling over here are going to produce uh, a cooler color temperature. You want to keep the lighting consistent, and so that's why I turned off the house lights and just used the 120D Mark II. Okay, so let's just take the shot and see what it looks like. Yeah? Okay, okay we're going to try to take a shot. That one. Yeah, I like it with the 
you like it with the spoon. It just gives it that extra little detail. I can't yeah. explain it, but it just makes it a bit more like someone's right there. It's that's really their cool. morning, you know? Oh, that's beautiful. How cool is that? That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, so we just finished that uh, shot and we absolutely loved it. It was great, it was beautiful. The details were just right and the results spoke for itself. And so moving on to the next one, we're not gonna do a flat lay, but we're gonna do uh, more of a natural angle. And so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Before we get to our next setup, let's go ahead and thank today's sponsor, Gear Focus. So Gear Focus is an online marketplace to buy and sell used gear. Once you've set up your account with Gear Focus, you can simply start selling. Make sure to take photos of the product that you want to sell, which honestly I think is the hardest part about the whole thing. And once you're done, upload those photos to the Gear Focus website, write down the exact gear that you want to sell, the description, how much you want to sell it for, where you're able to sell it to. And once all the info is there, your gear is listed to sell. And since signing up with Gear Focus, I've managed to easily sell sell some of my used gear. Sold them for a fair price and all my customers have been really happy, which makes me happy and a little bit of money. In fact, if you wanna check out my store and see some of the used gear that I'm selling, then by all means, check out the link in the description below. But a super easy process and definitely much safer than when you're selling or buying gear on Facebook or Craigslist because that can get creepy. But wait a minute, Sid, there's eBay. I can just sell my gear on eBay. Yes, that's true, but eBay charges you a 10% processing fee where Gear Focus only charges you 3.5%. So do the math. But honestly, it is such a great platform if you do wanna sell used gear or buy used gear. And now on my Gear Focus shop, you can get my LUTs and Lightroom presets. How cool is that? So click the link below and head over to my shop so that you can get my LUTs, Lightroom presets, and used gear. Thanks Gear Focus for sponsoring this episode. And now back to the video. I definitely wanna do dark wood. I think the dark wood dark looks, wood looks the really good. Wow. The wood one looks cool because, one? no, the wood one, because I like the texture of the wood. Okay, so like a really dark, moody, dark. dramatic film. Ooh, okay. Like you're in your cabin. Like in my cabin of dark wood. Because I have a really so, nice back. Ooh, look at that. Now we have a wall. Oh, that looks so good already. That looks incredible. Wow. So right off the bat, if you kind of just look at our little setup, uh, it just looks like a big old mess, right? Uh, but you don't really see what's on the, the rest of the table. On the camera, you just kind of just see this area. And uh, the reason why we have all these things is that because we want to tell a story. Uh, so we have uh, this kitchen towel to add some texture. We got some plants to just to add some softness to it, as well as those uh, pink buds down in the back. And just other things too, like uh, this kitchen pot with the utensils, just to show that we're in a kitchen. Uh, we got the Nespresso pods. I uh, even wanted to add this blue pot over here just to add a, just to add a pop of color. And then of course our main attraction right over there. And so yeah, so overall we're just trying to tell a story with objects in the frame. We don't really have a, a studio at our house so we're just kind of using our kitchen for the setup. And honestly we're just kind of being resourceful and trying to look for things around the house, things to add in, like things like plants or you know kitchen towels and stuff like that. So yeah, so I don't think like you need to specifically have a dedicated studio to create professional product photography. Sometimes you just gotta use uh, things around your house and just be creative. And I'm using a point and shoot camera, so there's that. Uh, now we're just gonna take some shots and look at it, assess if we need to, and hopefully come up with some pretty cool photos. I just pushed the button. That's what I did. I just pushed the button. I just pushed the button. Just gonna control the light a little bit more and I'm gonna add the, the skirt partly around the lantern. There we go. We're just uh, now blocking a little bit of the light. It almost acts as like a, like a flag. And that way we have control of the light just a, just a little bit. So I think one of the advantages of using a uh, point and shoot compact camera like the ZV-1 is that uh, you don't get so tired when you're doing top-down photography. Like it's way lighter obviously and uh and you're still able to get some really really good shots my settings for for this setup is hold on let me go back to the screen ah here we go uh one one sixtieth of one 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 sixtieth of a second f 1.8 actually 2.8 because I, I zoomed in uh all the way for a couple of shots and uh the highest iso that i would go to would be 400 and that's it that's all i'm doing can you believe i'm using a point and shoot camera Okay, changing it up, adding a bit of color. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here we go. Wow, that's amazing. Wow. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I was like, oh man, it's gonna run 
that before it gets anywhere near the top and it just that the is perfect height. Perfect. Wow, it's beautiful. Hey, <gasps> we did it! <laughs> it's exactly what I wanted. That turned out absolutely perfect. Oh my gosh. We we got a lifestyle shot. We have a dramatic shot. Just started out with a concept, an idea, then got some cool lighting, uh, got creative with the backdrops and all the objects just to tell a story and really happy with that. And the best part is that we get to drink our coffee. Cheers. Cheers. So now it's time to return the Sony ZV-1 back to Sony. Uh, I don't want to give it back. Such a good camera, such a good camera. <sighs> Maybe I don't have to give it back. Maybe just give back an empty box. They won't know. No, they, th they will know. Okay, I'll give you back.